So some two decades ago, my team and I discovered a new marker to diagnose dengue virus infections. And this was based on the detection of NS1, a viral antigen that is released in blood during infections. Our discovery was a real breakthrough in the dengue field. In fact, at that time, dengue diagnosis relied on a positive seroconversion that meant to follow the rise of specific IgM. So by providing um, a new marker, um, we were able to detect an ongoing infection and we were able to provide a diagnostic response at the time the patient would arrive at hospital. The ability to differentiate dengue from other infectious disease was a real challenge in the field and I think we were ready to tackle this. One key factor uh, for the success of our, of our development uh, was the early interest of our institution, the Institute Pasteur. They provided us with um, incitative funds and uh, dedicated human resources. We were also lucky to have uh, an industrial partner who showed uh, interest in our project, uh, Biorad, and uh, they provided us with um, financial and technical support to develop uh, an ELISA prototype. Once this prototype was set up uh, in the laboratory, um, we validated the tool um, in a retrospective study uh, in collaboration with the Institut Pasteur International Network. And in particular, we benefited from a patient cohort elaborated in uh, Institut Pasteur Cambodia. Once it was validated, it was transferred to our industrial partner who made the, uh, the, the, the final development and uh, they released um, a kit, um, a diagnostic kit, uh, on market uh, in less than two years, so which was a, a rather short um, period of time for, for the overall development. Since then, we turned back to our more basic and fun fundamental research and we were able to show that NS1 uh, binds a lipoprotein ligand during its circulation in, in blood. This new discovery has been patented in 2018 and we hope to be able to develop new approaches, new tools or to improve uh, the current version of the dengue diagnosis. Our project is now part of the accelerator of innovation at the Institut Pasteur. This new and early financial scheme will help us um, to speed up the process of translating discovery into a product, strengthen uh, the intellectual properties of inventors and their home institutions, and uh, improve um, public health responses. that science is an everyday challenge. Uh, it requires personal commitment, uh, the addition of a team, and uh, the full support from the hierarchy. The difficulty remains to find a good balance between basic and applied research. It is a continuum between uh, the two. And in this sense, uh, it's interesting to note that um, the pre-development phase um, feeds, in fact, uh, the research at a more fundamental level. This adventure is really intellectually stimulating and uh, definitely worth the journey.